Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So Mozilla has announced in a recent blog post that Firefox 130 is going to introduce an experimental new feature to automatically generate alt text for images, which is alternative text for images, using a fully private on-device AR model. So this means a bit of the AR treatment is going to make its way into the browser in due course. But they mention though that the feature will be available as part of Firefox's built-in PDF editor and the end goal is to make it available in general browsing for users with screen readers. So this will be an accessibility feature which I'm always in favor for um, in browsers and operating systems. Now if you are asking the question why alternative text? Well basically they say that web pages have a fundamentally simple structure with semantics that allow the browser to interpret the same content differently for different people based on their own needs and preferences. So until recently, it wasn't feasible for the browser to infer reasonably high quality alt text for images without sending potentially sensitive data to a remote server. So they are also focusing on the privacy side of features with this new alt text feature. They carry on to say, um, However, latest developments in AR have enabled this type of image analysis to happen efficiently even on a CPU. So basically, they mention from this blog post that small models can generate alt text with over 200 million parameters while taking less than 200 megabytes of, of disk space and providing output in a matter of seconds. And they are also less detailed and accurate compared to modern LLMs like the latest GPT-4 Oh, as we have spoken about on the channel, and I'll leave a video on GPT-4.0 um, um, in the end screen if you would be interested. Now, here they give us a couple of examples for the output. And this is an image taken from that blog post, and I do apologize for the image, but that's exactly how it appears in the blog post. Now, this image, which they've pulled from the COCO or COCO data set, is described by yeah, we got the first description by Firefox currently, which is a person is standing in front of a cake with candles. And then he has a baseline model. A woman is holding a cake with candles on it. And he has the human text at the bottom. People are looking at a decorative cake with long candles. So those are basically three example outputs currently. Now, both small models lose accuracy compared to the description provided by a person. And the baseline model is confused by the hand's position because the baseline model says a woman is holding a cake with candles on it when she isn't. And they also mention the Firefox model is doing slightly better in this case and captures what is important. Basically, a person is standing in front of a cake with candles. So they mention that if they ran the same image on a model like GPT-4.0, the results are extremely detailed and there's a long paragraph that GPT-4.0 gives which they mention that such a level of detail in alt text is well, is overwhelming and doesn't prioritize the most important information. So if they asked the LLM for a one sentence description they got, and this is the description, a group of people in an office celebrates with a lit birthday cake in the foreground and a smiling woman in the background. So basically it's a mixture between the baseline model and the human text. And the good thing with this, they say, is that it can be run locally without sending your image to a server, which obviously is the privacy side of things, um, which they would be focusing on as well. But I just wanted to put it out there, um, especially if you are using a screen reader and are using Firefox that they have announced recently that they are experimenting with local alternative text generation in Firefox nightly. And obviously, if and when this feature makes it to stable, or get any more info, I'll always keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.